Hello again, viewers, and greetings, fellow space travelers. This is Stone of Night, and welcome to sort of a tutorial video um, about some things that are on the server that I play on. This is the Performium Skyblock server, and I'm on the uh, other side of my water park, my fishing mushroom park because I wanted to have a little out of the way place to uh, to do a couple of things. Uh, one of them is a question that gets asked a lot, especially by people who are a little new, and I wanted to go over this uh, just briefly, and I was reminded of it because in the chat, if you look at the bottom, it says, you have not voted recently, please vote to support the server. You currently have 51 votes. All right, so here is what voting is, how it works, and, and what it's good for. Uh, first off, you can type slash vote, and it will bring up a list of four websites that you can go to. Now, the exact number and, and layout of the different websites can sometimes change over time. Uh, the first one, uh, Minecraft server list dot com server, and then some numbers and vote. Uh, instead of uh, going and and trusting the server and then the numbers and then vote, what you might want to do is just go to the root website. So just go to Minecraft dash server dash list dot com, uh, and then search for Performium. Uh, same thing with the Minecraft servers.org, topg.org, and minecraft-mp.com. All four of these sites have a feature, and I'm not going to take you to the websites themselves, uh, because I don't want to, like, step on any toes with the, the, the YouTube videos and, and websites and things like that, but, uh, Ultimately, you go to these websites, you fill in your username, and make sure you spell your username right, because it won't let you try again from the same computer. Uh, it, it keeps track of that. But type in your name of the character that you are playing with on this server, and it will also have a little checkbox for the recapture. You might have to click on... Uh, pictures that represent signs or shelves or bananas or something, I don't know, to prove that you're a human and not a robot. Uh, and then after you have done that for each of the four sites, you will get a uh, response in here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and vote on the four sites. The first one I'm going to go to will be the minecraftservers.org, and I don't know why I did them in this order, it's just the order that they're saved in here. So, uh, I'm going to vote and then come back and show you what happens in the game. I'm still logged in, uh, so uh, there is a an event that happens in the game. Now, you might be wondering, by the way, if there are four sites, why do I only have 51 votes? Well. Remember how I told you to make absolutely certain that you typed your name right? Yeah, I didn't. So, my vote counted for someone who doesn't even exist. I made a typo in my own name. So, make sure you spell it right. Might help to just copy-paste, you know. So, anyway, I'm going to go vote, and I will be right back. Alright, here we go. I voted at minecraftservers.org and I got a confirmation and, and it just happens almost instantly. Uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, Thorn of Night has voted at minecraftservers.org and received 25 in-game currency, IGC. Thanks for voting at minecraftservers.org. $25 has been added to your account. All right, so this $25 goes to your balance whoops your balance and you can also type money or you can type the whole word balance and it'll tell you how much money you've gotten money is used for buying things in shops trading with people uh getting some uh nice and wonderful upgrades um sometimes you can find people who are selling 
uh, spawners for different types of creatures. So there's a lots of stuff that you can spend your money on. Uh, and sometimes it's even fun to see where you are in the rankings. So you can even type bell top, which is going to go through the large amount of users on the Skyblock 56,000. That's actually a lot. I am nowhere near the top. Iggy is definitely way up there uh, by a huge, huge factor. Okay, so I just found out that I am on page 5 of Baltop. I am in 42nd place out of 56,000 people on here. I'm in 42nd place. That's actually kind of a shocker to me. Neat. Alright, so I'm going to go vote on the other three websites and then uh, show you so what some of the other rewards can be. Hopefully there will be some luck. Oh, here's someone has voted while they were offline and then they logged in and all three uh, or all four of their votes counted all at the same time. And so they received 25 bucks for each of their votes. But let's see if I can get some luck out of voting. We'll find out. All right, so I went ahead and voted at the other three sites. Didn't get anything from luck, uh, but you can see that I went to Top G, got my $25 for voting, went to Minecraft MP, got that, and went to uh, MCSL, which is short for MinecraftServerList.com, and got the $25 for all all three of those so I have now voted a total of 55 times it shows that in the bottom and this will get you some money but also sometimes you will get lucky and I was hoping to see someone show up while I was doing this video uh, get lucky on their votes you can earn a large quantity of money by getting lucky it's like a, a, a random chance you can get like 500 or 5,000 I've gotten 5,000 before uh, you can get crate keys and and other loot for voting I think when I voted my 20th time I got a whole stack of cooked beef or something like that uh, so voting has benefits money wise as well as actual items in the game now crate keys are used if I will go here's a command that you will probably want to know if you go back to uh, not hub if you go back to spawn for skyblock it will take you here and this is where you spawned in and these are loot crates if I right click on this loot crate it says you must use a crate key to open that if you have a crate key with the crate key in your hand, you right click on the loot crate and fireworks go off and your inventory fills up with a whole bunch of really neat stuff. Diamonds and emeralds and and uh, end rods and dragon heads and all kinds of stuff. Elytras, whatever. Uh, and this is right where you started when you spawned in. Uh, and if you did not take time to read the signs to start, all you have to do is type slash island that's it you start a new island and it'll give you a list of islands to choose from uh ranging in difficulty from uh very very difficult with almost no resources at all to a pretty decent start you basically have enough resources to amount to like having played for several days with the other versions uh and if you mess up you can just type Isl slash island restart and it will restart your island now you can only do this a couple of times before it uh, it makes it very difficult for you so use it sparingly and one of the main reasons why people want to restart by the way is if you accidentally turn your lava into obsidian now Let's go see what happens if you do that and how to kind of get around that issue. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright, so you've started a brand new island, a tiny little flowing, floating speck of 
existence in the middle of the void. You've got some grass, you've got a cow, you've got a tree, you've got a bucket of water, and you've got a lava right there. And you want to make a cobblestone generator. So, let's see here, how do I do this? I need to make it so that, is it the water flows into lava? Let's try that. Oh, no! I turned my lava into obsidian. What am I gonna do? Oh, man. Let's see what you can do if you accidentally turn your, obsid your lava into obsidian. Take your bucket, which at this point should be empty and slowly filling with the tears of your mistake, and walk up to that lava, or that obsidian, and right-click it with your empty bucket. That's right. Right-click it with your empty bucket, you get your lava back. So, if that's the reason why you want to restart your island, don't worry. You can get your lava back. Just scoop it with a bucket. You don't need to restart. Don't waste a restart unnecessarily. The restart is really there for people who get a, uh, a little bit of a start going and then for some reason they have all their important stuff on them or, or in a chest that gets blown up by a creeper or something and they literally have nothing left. No money and no one wants to help them. No one wants to trade. And trust me, there are a lot of people who want to help and want to trade and, and want to see other people on the server succeed. The more people who succeed, the happier all of us are. The more fun we all have. There's just so much going on. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you accidentally uh, turn your lava into obsidian, or obby as it is sometimes called, O-B-B-Y or O-B-B-I, I've seen it, don't worry. You can turn it back into lava with a bucket. You are okay. All right. Another thing that is really common uh, to use, but not easily uh, found out without some in-depth explanation, is the sign shop. Uh, I don't know if it's sign shop or chest shop, whichever it is. Every person who has been around mm -hmm. tends to have some sort of sign shop. And the way sign shops work, uh, I can just take you over to my market lane, I have lots of them. Let's go over to my market lane here, and let's go into my wood shop. I have a a store, Tiki's Wood Supplies. You don't have to name your stores, I just did it for fun. The shops themselves are these things. Signs on chests that are designed in a very specific way. And the names are a little funny for some of the things and this is why I'm making this part of the video is so that you can understand what it is you are expected to write on these signs. So let's take a look at one of these. We have sticks and this chest is empty but that doesn't really matter because the sign can go on any chest as long as that item that is mentioned is in the chest the sign will work. So, let's break this down. First line on the sign, and you had to put the sign on the chest. and Or or within one block of the chest. It's just best to put it on the chest itself so everyone knows where they are going with their stuff. Um, you put your name, in this case. Mine is Thorn of Night. That goes on the top line. Then you hit Enter. Then, you put the number of items in a stack that you want to sell. You can sell one. You can sell up to an entire stack of that item. So let's say you have Ender Pearls and they only stack to 16. You can put 16 or you can put one. You could put three for all that really matters. But in this case, I have put 64 on here. That is line two. Line three, don't worry, this will make sense. We have the first portion here that says capital B, a single space, and then a price. That is 60 cents, 0.6 dollars. 
Then we have another space, a colon, another space, a second price, a space, and then a capital S. Let's break this down. The B stands for buy. What this means is if you want people to be able to get 64 sticks, in this case, you will have to receive 60 cents from them by the way I have this sign set up. So if they have 60 cents, they can buy 64 sticks. If they want to sell sticks to your sign shop and the chest that sign shop is on empty, then you put this price here. This will represent, you don't have to have it 55 cents, it can be whatever value you think is fair or whatever value you want to get out of it. And then the S stands for sell. So if I am a customer and I show up at this, I look at the B and say, I want to buy 64 of them. I have 60 cents. I will right click on the sign to buy 64 of them. If I walk up to the sign and say, hey, I happen to have a stack of sticks on me that I don't need, you can left click and sell to the shop. Now, let's go over this one more time. B for buy, a space, a price that you want them to buy it for, a space, a colon, a space, a price you want to have them sell to you for, and this is always better to have a lower number here than you have there. That way you're making a profit on restocking. A space, and then an S. B, price, colon, price, S. Now, if you do not want people to sell to you, you don't have to have anything over here. You can just have B, space, and then a price. If you don't want people to buy from you, you just want them to sell to you, that's also accomplished by putting price, space, S. You don't have to have the first part. But this line is your purchase or sale amount. So we have name, item amount, purchase amount, and then the first line is the item ID. Now you could, if you are absolutely certain you know what the item is, you could put it in this spot and hopefully it will fill it in and say, sign created successfully. But how do you know what the item is? For instance, in this chest I am selling the dark oak logs. Dark oak, right there. But it says dark oak. How do I know that dark oak is log 2 colon 1? Well, there's a couple things that you can do to know this. Let's take a dark oak. You can type, here's another one of the useful commands, you can type slash i info or item info on, and when you do that, Whatever you are holding in your hand at the time, it will display the item ID. Let's look at this. Item information, dark oak log 2, 162 colon 1. So that's log 2 colon 1. That's, that's what that is. If you type the number 162 colon 1, it will fill in these words. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me show that to you. I'll take this sign off of here. This chest doesn't have to have anything in it, but let's shift, place, thorn of night. My stack size was 64. I was buying it for, well, for $6, and I was or I was selling it for six dollars and I am buying it from people for five and a half dollars 
space S. And then on this last line, that number was 162 colon 1. Done. Log 2 colon 1. And it will say, when you have done it correctly, shop successfully created. Okay. So now we have a, a good solid representation of how to set up the signs. Let's go over here and try to set one up way out of the way. And I am sorry it's raining. There's nothing I can do about that. And what I'm going to put in here are spruce wood planks. So I can go over here and go slash I info. And I can see that it is named wood. So if I type wood, lots of things are going to happen, but it probably won't get the right wood. But it showed that it is number five, colon one. So I am going to go Thorn of Night. I'm going to say 10. A, a pile of 10 of them. I am going to say the buy price of 5. And then I'm going to say the sell price of... Oh, I messed up. There we go. Space colon. The sell price of 4.5. And, and this is not a good price for 10 of these at all. Don't, don't even think I would sell like this. This is way too high of a price. This is just for demonstration. And then we get to the last line, and it is 5, colon, 1. What did I do? Well, what happened is I didn't put in the right information. So, how do I know what the right information is? I can go, and I can do that again. I can go slash I info. And that five colon one is what I typed in. So, what, what gives? There's another method for finding the item ID. If you hold F3 and hit the letter H, it will say debug advanced tooltips shown. So what does that do? If I mouse over this, it shows spruce wood planks number 0005 slash 1. Let's pretend for the signs that that slash is a colon. Uh, it says Minecraft planks. Well, we know it's planks. And it is spruce wood planks. So what gives? For the single digit items, you are going to need a zero. And that's part of the reason why I picked this up. Thorn of, oops, of night. Let's go 10, buy for 6, ah, I did it again, and sell for 5.5, and then we will go 0, 05, colon, 1, and let's see what happens. Wood 1, look at that. That 0 is important for all the items whose item ID is one digit. If it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, any of those, add the zero so that it registers correctly. So that's important. Now, how does this work? I can punch the sign. I'm not selling anything to it. I have some in my inventory, clearly. Uh, and if I right click on it, I just open the chest. You, the owner, cannot interact with your sign in a as a customer. As a matter of fact, if you just right click on a sign that has been assigned to a sign shop chest, it will open the chest. Notice I was not aimed at the chest itself. So I'm going to go get someone to help me with the demonstration of this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have gotten a victim, a uh, customer over here 
Uh, this is the lovely Master Sly Fox, and she does in fact have a unicorn horn. She has hat, which is another thing on this server. But she is here to help demonstrate the sign shop. I have placed in the chest five spruce wood planks, and five is not a complete stack. So let's see what happens when she tries to buy from this chest. Go ahead and buy. She bought five, if you see in the chat, five wood from me for three dollars. It automatically calculates if that's half of a, a purchase stack, then that's only half of the cost. So I only made three dollars off of that, but I'm only out five logs, or five wood. Go ahead and sell that back to the chest, please. Now, since it is half stack once again, uh, I got two dollars seventy five cents out of the money going or the items going into the chest that 275 came out of my pocket to go over to her she sold it to me so the numbers are different three dollars to buy and 275 to sell so now let's see what happens if i put five more in there for the whole stack go ahead and buy the stack there we go six dollars for a whole stack go ahead and sell it back five dollars and fifty cents for the entire stack to sell it back that's the whole price now go ahead and take i will go ahead and take that out of there now that the chest is empty try to buy something from me let's see what happens there my wood shop is out of stock anytime someone tries to buy something from you that is out of stock you will get that sort of message uh and it doesn't happen just once if someone is very adamant about having to have those wood planks let's see what happens when they just keep on trying to buy from the same shop just spam that out of stock out of stock out of stock your chat will fill with this especially if suddenly you advertise something like for sale now, I have 10 stacks of fish. All of a sudden, everyone on the server who has been AFK for days will show up and go straight to your fish thing, and there will be this mob of people trying to be the first to buy all the fish. And then your chat will fill up with out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. It'll be a glorious few moments of people wrangling a sign, but still, it turns into a chat fiasco but only for you or the person doing the purchasing thank you very much master sly fox for helping with this demonstration you are lovely as ever and i will be seeing you in a future video including the island showcase of your island coming in the very near future so thank you goodbye grin face Okay, so one more thing that you're going to need to know, especially if you're going to be using sign shops, is to get to other islands. And if you look in chat, you will see Skyfox has typed IS Go. Well, let's see what happens if you type that correctly, because obviously Ares right underneath said LOL FAIL. I fail every time. Let's see what happens if you type the command correctly. Slash IS go. IS is short for island. Go. I am facing the wall because, well, this was my original spawn point and I have not bothered to change it. But IS go takes you to your spawn point that you have set on your island. You can reset your spawn point to set home, but I have chosen not to do so. So my IS go takes me right here and in case you're wondering why there's a bucket worth of water in my spawn point that is because if you accidentally fall off your island let me demonstrate this for you I will come up here goodbye cruel world I'm falling oh no I ask go enter you will land at your spawn point and if you are falling you will still be falling at that same velocity when you land so the bucket of water negates your fall damage that's why the water is there 
So you do not go curse splat, instead you go curse splash. Alright. Now, the IS go is lovely, and there are lots of other IS commands. You can IS go, you can go home. You can IS MS, which is open the mini shop, and there are some things for sale. They're all overpriced. It's not worth it. Uh, you can list team members if you have had other people join your island. I am alone on my island, partially because I don't want to chance something going wrong with the things that I have lined up for my future videos, but also because I am kind of uh, skittish about other people on my island. Uh, you can set your home like I mentioned. Uh, you can check your island level. I went over that before, but I will probably go over in detail all this stuff in here. Uh, you can list top 10 islands, list warps available, and actually that's not really functional. Uh, you can go to the world spawn, which is slash spawn. You can change your biome, and you can do challenges. Now I'm going to cover all or most of these in detail uh, probably in another video, but I just wanted you to see that there are other slash IS commands, but one of the most important of which, the last one that I'm going to be covering is the ability to warp to other people's islands. First, let's warp to my island. Slash island warp thorn, or thof, thorn of night. If you set a sign with the word welcome in brackets, it doesn't matter what else is written on it, it could be completely blank, and this can be on any line, and it can be lowercase or capital, or a combination of lowercase and capital, as long as it says welcome in brackets, when you place the sign, it will turn green, and anyone who wants to visit your island will appear right in front of that sign, facing it. And it will be the welcome sign. I have added the instructions that market is ahead to the left and attractions are to the right and some other stuff immediately. But this is my welcome sign. Well, we just had Master Skyfox over here. So let's go over to Master Skyfox's island. Island. Warp. And let me type the whole word island just so you can see. Island warp master and here's the helpful thing especially if there's only one person with that name uh but more importantly if there's m more than one person with that name on and you want to make the distinction between like say there's someone else with the word master at the beginning of their player name uh you type in just enough characters to make it unique for the world so master underscore Skyfox. I am here at the sign, but unfortunately, because it is set right on the edge, it put me on the sign. But here's the welcome sign, Sly Fox's Island, and I will be doing a showcase of this glorious beauty. This is not the glorious part of it. Uh, but let's go back to my island. Island. Warp. I'll type Island Warp. That way you can see that it works for both of them. And I will just type Thorn. Here we are, back at my island, Thorn of Night. And it's at the Warp sign, the Welcome sign. I can also Island Go. And I'm back over here at my spawn point, which is facing into the wall because that's my dunce corner. And it's just down the way from my welcome sign. So that is, in summary, and I guess maybe backwards, how to jump between islands, how to use sign shops, how to make sign shops, how to use your balance, how to vote, and also a little bit of information on how to start and use your island and and a pro tip I guess as well about the turning your lava into obsidian on accident so hopefully all of this information has been helpful to you getting started on the performium skyblock server uh, if you 
like this video, please give me a like. I do appreciate that. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. I have lots of other things going on. I will be doing island showcases and doing much more expansion on here. This is just me getting started. I'm cutting my teeth on this. This is just barely the tip of the iceberg here. I have literally only been playing for a couple of weeks on this server. I, I am doing the baby steps still. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will do my absolute best to answer them either in the comments or in videos. Uh, if you uh, need to talk to me in person, I am on very often, and uh, I am more than happy to help unless I am in the busy, busy or in the middle of doing some sort of strategic block placement that requires attention to counting and all that kind of stuff and then I will finish whatever layer or row that I'm on and then I will come help. I, I'm more than happy to help. Uh, so this is just the normal sky block just so that is absolutely clarified not the OP sky block. Anyway I'm going to wrap up here. I've drawled on long enough. Thank you once again for watching. This is Thorn of Night and I will talk to you later.